Renata, what are you doing here? I'm meeting Lily because she wants to give me an interview about the NPT preparation conference that took place two weeks ago here at the VSC in Vienna. We were participating at this conference, the Women Federation for World Peace International. We were represented through Lili Gundaka, Maria Riel, Jomkat Mendler, Renate Amesbauer. And we are very grateful we could be part of this conference as observers. The Women Federation has endorsed one statement that we liked very much. It was the statement by Unfold Zero. A World Future Council and World Federalist Movement a statement that has been endorsed by 152 organizations and 32 countries, but the numbers are growing. And we like this statement especially because it talks about common security and nuclear deterrence. I will read you a paragraph. How to replace the current reliance on nuclear weapons with sustainable security for all. The paragraph about other methods to ensure common security and to invest more in developing these methods of conflict resolution through mediation, peace building, reconciliation processes, also they were not mentioned in the statement, and many other points align with the Limit Federation point that we want to act of a out of a parental heart and our desire is prosperity and universal values for all. Wow! So we want to support these organizations and this network of organizations also in the future. And I want to give some more explanation about common security because I like it because this is um, put in words in the official documents. So this is something we can connect to as Women Federation. It sounds very complicated, please listen. Some explanation about common security, aggression and nuclear deterrence. The common security approaches and mechanisms outlined in the UN Charter, in the Helsinki Final Act and in the Lisbon Declaration can be used to resolve international conflicts before they escalate to the level of armed conflict. They can also be used instead of nuclear deterrence to address aggression, the threat of aggression, and other threats to peace and serious violations of international law. Better utilization of common security approaches could therefore assist the transition from nuclear deterrence to non-nuclear security. If you think of a family, then this would be the things that you would implement first to solve the conflict, sit down, talk to each other, reconcile. So it's really high time that we are using these methods in the international or international relationships of people and ethnic groups, religious groups, etc. Another point of the Commission was that we have been made aware at several occasions, made aware at several occasions about the devastating effects of nuclear war. Using the example of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, even the warfare has developed and the nuclear weapons used today cause a much more disastrous effect as it has been in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. And it, if you start with a nuclear war, then it affects everyone. The one who is the aggressor and the, as, as much as the one that is attacked. And in the end, it affects the whole world. So it's really a point, even from this point of view, something to really think about deeply. Other side events that really caught our attention and made us also quite sad is the effect of nuclear testing. We attended several side events talking about the effects of nuclear testing on the health of people. Even nuclear tests have been forbidden several decades ago. The heightened risk of cancer that babies are born with disabilities, these efficiencies the destruction of the nature, the place where people are living and which is their source of income, their place to live. 
for these local populations. And the sad thing is that nuclear test testing is often done in secrecy and kind of ignores the rights of those people living in this area. But we also had very inspiring experiences at this commission, which was to learn about the peaceful use of nuclear technology under the motto building a more sustainable future for all through the EI, IAEA International Atomic Energy Agency. They had really very well organized an extensive exhibition on, the, on various side events where they talked about the peaceful use of nuclear technology and they even ex uh, organized excursions to the laboratories. You could visit the laboratories in Seibersdorf and in the WRC basement. So we got a lot of information, multifaceted information about this use of the technology. Some of them, just to mention some of them, is dosimetry and radiology, groundwater research, biological pest control, water irrigation systems, and soil analysis, not to mention the whole uh, plant mutilation, uh, which can increase the crops, the number of crops, the quality of crops, and also the, the kind of livestock that people can hit, uh, keep. They can keep more healthy and more productive livestock using this, some of this technology. Please look at IAEA's homepage. So, I'm I have no idea if you can